What is up, everybody? To reverse the here today, and we're gonna talk about Sony Pause and PSVR 2 production due to having so much piled inventory throughout the supply chain. Nobody wants that garbage on PlayStation. People just want to play the traditional way. They don't want to play this niche form of gaming with PSVR 2. It should have been pretty evident a while ago. It's just now very telling that people who invested into this platform. I finally realized that Sony doesn't want to go, does really want to go forward with this at all, really. They got so much inventory they're just sitting on. And it has to be pretty obvious. It was obvious to me when this thing was first announced. Like, who wants to buy this? But, you know, people just finally realize that nobody wants this. So, sucks to suck for those people who spent as much as a console for this device. But Sony's not going to... They just stuck with inventory, so it's not a good sign right there. And so much so that this guy's just reporting about this, how they got a supply just full of these PSVR 2 consoles not being sold. And Sony fanboys are angry with this guy. They are furious with him. <laughs> That's like the famous saying, the famous saying, don't shoot the messenger. Like, he's just the messenger. Why are you mad at this guy that nobody wants that crappy PSVR 2 device? The best they can do is like make this PC, com PC compatible for the small amount of people who do want to play it on PC. That's the only thing you got to save this thing because at this point nobody wants it. So we're gonna read some of these responses. PSVR 2 is cooked. I agree. I don't see this going any further. And the writing was on the wall when a few months ago one of those studios, one of those PSVR studios, came out and said, "Hey, people aren't buying our games. It's not getting support we have, so they closed down the studio." And that should have been the writing on the wall then, but I guess now it's official. You get these sources saying, hey, they're, they're, they're just full of inventory now. This person says, where were these same sources you used to report that Sony increased and later heavily decreased PS5 production? Something Sony itself clarified never did. Oh, so this dude's butt hurt. <laughs> Once again. The Sony, the Sony fans are triggered by this, even though the writing's on the wall. The noise buying this PSVR 2 device like that. Do you ever tell the truth? Like 98% of your articles are false. Yes, they're false now because he's little and calling out that nobody wants this PS, PR, PSVR nonsense. And then, like this guy says, VR is the future of gaming. I am so glad Microsoft didn't invest into this nonsense. People are bragging. People are bragging saying how Microsoft is not. People are bragging saying how Microsoft weren't doing as Sony was. Now you look like an idiot because Sony is failing with this thing. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to buy it. So much so that they got a, they got warehouses full of these things now, just not selling, just collecting dust. Um, based on the history of your reports, I take it the PSVR two is doing better than expected, and we will soon hear good news directly from Sony. Oh, so much copium and just delusion. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants this, that trash PSVR 2. That's a flopper, a major flopper Rooney right there. This person just says this is a lie. Apparently, he's lying now, even though all the major websites IGN, he got Wario, he got VGC report on it. So, apparently, Sony fanboy feelings, their, their butthurt feelings is what we should believe and not people, not the actual journalists. Okay. <laughs> I can see this has some truth to it. I mean, really? You see that nobody wants it? I mean, you could just see the word of mouth on the internet that nobody wants this thing, but you know, you just can't believe it, apparently. We have been having issues the last year, so selling our PSVR 2 stock, but also it wasn't that long ago we had more pre owned PSVR 2s than we ever had new. People are just trading that crap in, they don't want it. <laughs> when we asked the customers why they were trading in, always seemed to be the exact reasons. It felt cheaply made compared to other options. So it was like a cheap device of options that offers the same thing. It's a lot better. They want to recover some of the money they paid for it. So they felt they was ripped off. Not enough support slash games to make it worth it currently. Yeah. You can't... Cause, yeah, because they made the stupid decisions that you can't play the old PSVR games. The first PSVR games on this one, which was dumb. And it's not PC compatible. So, yeah. Just bad decisions overall with that thing. What does piled up inventory mean? That means that it's collecting dust and it's not selling. That should be pretty obvious right there. I wanted a PSVR and then PSVR 2 got announced. I got hyped and wanted one. Then they said it was not back compatible. No, I don't want one. I don't want either. <laughs> 
What a shocker. And an overly expensive peripheral with limited to, to little support and software isn't selling well. So I should take this as an omen for the rumored PS5 Pro. But I don't think those things don't sell well either. They just keep releasing these constant pieces of hardware that's just trash. We saw the, the PS Portal, Portal Potty, the handheld that nobody wants. Um, a half ass handheld at that. It's like the Steam Deck took the place of the PS Vita 2 at this point. Like, why would you even buy the Portal at this point when the, the Steam Deck or the other equivalent of Steam Deck is so much better now than this thing? Then you got the PS VR 2, released it, nobody wants it. And they're going to release that PS5 Pro, and nobody's going to buy that thing either. So I'm just taking L's constantly. Oh, uh, let's see. The thing is that while VR is cool, there just aren't many cool VR games. Not enough to want to drop 500 plus for for a lot of people. They'd rather spend 100 plus the 250 for the Quest 1 or Quest 2 and be content with the content on those. It's you again. Aren't you sick and tired of being caught off the line so often? Oh man. Why did you just assume that this guy was lying because it's bad Sony news? Which is like, they just can't fathom that nobody wants this PSVR 2, even though it's pretty obvious at this point. They're just so buttered. Jeez. Okay, this is very mature. Talk of crap, we get another fake article about Sony slash Square Enix. You're not losing your job yet as the eighth wonder of the world, so they want this guy fired now because he reported all the news. Do you want VGC and IGN fired too because they reported on this thing not selling? Translation is, they built it and they did not come. Yeah, nobody wanted that thing. They might as well put that PSVR 2 out the pasture at this point. <laughs> Take it out to the shed and get the shotgun and get that banjo playing because it's a wrap. It's, it's like nobody wants that thing. Definitely not ever invest in a PSVR. Maybe in the future. Uh, we'll see with that. I saw if they would have gotten some bangers like Half Life, Alex running on it, it would have been balded. Okay. It's Joe over. People were really convinced that this was going to be a thing because it sold out to early adopters. <laughs> I, feel, I, was like, I feel sorry for people who got duped into buying this nonsense, but you should have thought that this was going to be supported. Like, they just had a recent trend of just releasing hardware that nobody wants to buy or cares about. They care about it, so it was pretty obvious. Um, got to lower the price. I mean, as a start, that might get people to want to buy it, but I don't know if that's even going to be enough. They just take it as a big loss and just probably try to sell people on a, on a software at this point because that thing not looking good. It's a shame that it's so difficult to move forward with the VR, even more so because the price is simply too high to convince people to buy such an expensive accessory. It's the most we can really feel inside a game right now. PSVR 2 really gives it a very immersive feeling. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some community notes on this guy. Oh man, now they want the snitched. Now they want to uh, snitch to, to the um, Twitter police. This is ridiculous. What are you gonna snitch about? He's right. Like nobody wants this thing. Like what? Are you, what are you trying to snitch on him for? Uh, wake me up when they're fifty dollars in a clearance bin in big lots. Probably won't be that long from now, to be honest. This guy's track record is like 90% wrong when talking about PlayStation. <laughs> he's an ex he's an Xbox influencer. Where's the proof of this nonsense? And once again, he's not the only person reporting on this. So what are they talking about? Oh man, these guys are so butthurt. And you got another person reporting on it too. So apparently all these guys are wrong. Apparently, but the Sony fanboys are right. That people just magically just want this PSVR 2 nonsense. Unbelievable. Just the sheer amounts of delusion. Same dude reported this, and guess what common trait they all share? They were incorrect. So I guess all those people were just wrong too, huh? <laughs> VR is the future. <laughs> you wonder what VR truly is. VR is such like, it's like one of those niche things you use like when you're like an arcade. I know there's barely any arcades in the United States now, but... When you go like to arcades like Dave and Buster's, that's when you use the VR the VR device to be immersed in that. You don't it don't make any sense to do that at home. Like I don't know, it just don't seem like it's 
sure, you know, with friends, something like that, like an arcade or something, like a bar or arcade. And I'm sure, you're kind of drunk, you want to be in VR, that makes sense. But just at home doing this, all you want to do is just play, just play a traditional controller and TV. It doesn't make any sense to me, so. Uh, I think the market spoke about how they felt about this device. And it's obvious that they don't want this. Early adopters. <laughs> what do you say, early adopters? Gotcha. <laughs> oh man, you got. Uh, I feel bad. These people spent five hundred dollars, five hundred plus dollars on this thing, and it's just like it's just it's just a waste. Sony's just gonna, they're just gonna stop production. They'll cancel this thing eventually. So that gotta suck. I sold that trash for four hundred. I saw that coming. Yeah. I blame both the public and Sony. So now you're blaming the public about this nonsense. You blame the consumers because they want to buy this nonsense, really. The only blame should be is should be the Sony, not the consumers. But he says one is too skeptical, hesitant, and demanding; other is cynical, impatient, and effing pliable. <laughs> really, this guy is such a PlayStation shields ridiculous. Really, oh man. Another one says, this man has been athlete wrong about the PSVR 2 since before launch. No way y'all still listen to him. Nobody wants it. What are you talking about? Oh, man. There's so much delusional people. I'm going to conclude it right here. You can read the rest of these delusional Sony fanboys. But the truth is on the wall. Nobody wants this crap. <laughs> it's very evident. You could try to say this dude is lying or whatever to make you feel better. But this, the writing is on the wall. This, I wouldn't be surprised if they cancel this thing and be, they stop all support as soon as possible because they already tell you they're not gonna make the they're not, they're not gonna make more units because they got a warehouse full of this thing so it is what it is demand better from sony stop kissing their butts but definitely see your thoughts down below about this leave a like like this video and it's always thanks for watching and peace